Red Bull High Performance came to Mexico in order to implement and beta test new technologies and components that we thought would help benefit our athletes and also benefit the sport of surfing. Could like really change the sport if everything goes well and according to plan. We have a pretty big list of technology we've been developing over the last eight months and we're really excited to see how this will perform and what sports we can roll it into next. One of the challenging aspects of surfing, especially the coaching side, is working with the athlete with the coach on a beach. So what we're going to do here is bring the instant replay to your wrist while you're paddling back out from the wave you just surfed. You'll see a notification on your wrist and you can watch your replay. Nice. That's exciting. <laughs> I'm excited. To be able to be in the water, getting waves, and watching those with your athlete in the water real time, the quicker the feedback is, the quicker the body remembers what it did and can make those changes for the athlete. So that was the one that really, I think, can be the quickest of the technologies that we can implement. Now that we've solved the problem of instant replay in the water, we wanted to give our athletes a different perspective. And that's where AirDog comes in. They are bringing in an autonomously following drone what that'll allow the surfer to do is go out for a surf, they'll press up key, and the drone will actually come out and film as much of their surf session as it has battery life. So you now can get a new perspective without needing a, a film crew. The next step is to look at how athletes move. Surfers spend a lot of the time paddling. We thought that would be a good place to explore. All right, Jake, uh, these are called notch. They're uh, sensors that track motion. Basically track all motions of your arms. We'll couple that with GPS and figure out how fast you go, what your efficiencies are. That's the first time I've had the chance to see Josh paddle in a controlled environment like this. That was huge for us to learn that he was gassing out right around 23 seconds. Definitely, you know, on a physical level, got to work on that. <laughs> I'm exhausted. I pretty much feel super out of shape doing that. Now that we've learned some things about paddling, it's time to look at the physics while they're on the wave. The trace is just a little circular shaped gadget that you just put on your board. It just is like a GPS device that just measures how far you go in your session or how, how long your wave is. I was really surprised at how far I was paddling and like how long some of my waves were. I mean like one wave I did like 14 cutbacks on. You don't really realize that, so that was pretty sweet. To gain insight into how surfers create power and speed, we look to the feet. So these boots measure how much you're putting it, how quickly you're shifting weight, and also we'll be able to measure front foot versus back foot. Sweet. Visual information is what they use to navigate the wave, and we wanted to see waves through their eyes. They've developed the world's first pair of waterproofed eye tracking goggles that will allow us to see what the surfer is looking at to make decisions. This testing uh, went, went really, really great. I mean, it was the first time that eye tracking has been taken on water and nobody knew how it works, where they are going to look at. We have to see how we can translate this uh, for training guidance for uh, normal surfers, non-professional people. Now that we've seen the waves through their eyes, the next step is to understand how they make decisions with that information. How do we define the zone when, a, when an athlete is really focused and, and really in, this, in a position where they're, they're doing their best work? We're going to get you out in the water recording EEG. This is really awesome. No one has ever done this before, so we're really wow. super excited. We're just going to get you to watch each of the waves coming in. When you see a wave that you like, blink for us three times. Okay. Just throwing this laptop into a waterproof bag. When we did the EEG in the water, I was kind of nervous going out because I had a computer in a backpack in the water. 
So like, I was kind of just like, oh, I hope I don't get caught by a sieve. We got 17 minutes of recording. Nice. <laughs> There's a rhythm called alpha rhythm, which relates to how relaxed you are. In Jake, he's got these amazing bursts of alpha, you know, really chill individuals. So he's sitting there watching waves and we're seeing this alpha waves just come through and take control of the recording. That's been pretty amazing. Yeah, I mean, all the technology here, I think will really help this, help surfing in the long run. I mean, I'm really excited to see what the future holds. So this week was a great success. We got a lot of data. We've already been seeing some trends, but we'll be taking this back and really building these programs out with the hope that we can roll this out to more of our action sports as well as others.